Today we're going to add details onto our Tsum Tsum. We made um, two pinch pots together and it's hollow now. And then we're going to um, do a combination of carving in and, um, and adding pieces on. So I've got some extra clay for that. And um, first of all, this is very round and I want it to kind of be long. So if you're very careful, you can kind of mold it into the shape you want because the clay is plastic at this point. Now that's not the material plastic, it just means that you can mold it. So I do kind of want it to be a little bit flat on one side, but I want the head to be facing this way. So I'm just gonna kind of use my fingers. And you can see that it's starting to get that shape there for how the head would be separate. So, um, then I want to kind of give it a tap so that it won't roll around. I don't really like how this one does that. So, um, next I will, um, I'm going to make Yoda. So I'm going to add the ears on. So I'm just going to pinch off a piece like this and just make a little triangle with my fingers um, and kind of curve it this way. Uh, the other way you could do that is to squeeze a piece of clay and to take a needle tool and just almost like draw on it to make that shape. So I've got this clay here and I've got these ears. Um, I can check to make sure they're the same shape by just lining them up like that or I even put them on now I know they're gonna be somewhat symmetrical so I'm gonna kind of put them here and take a fork as my scoring tool Let's see where is it I'm gonna mark up the area where I want to add his ears And then I'll take some slip and a brush. Get some of that slip on there. Let's see, how did I want that? There we go, like this. And I kind of press that in to begin with. And then I'm going to use my thumb to kind of join that so there's not much of a line between it. If I did want a line, I could come back later and kind of carve it in, but I want to erase that line to begin with. All right, and then I can start to do some more carving here. make these kind of two little sausages for his arms. So even if you score, you can always kind of move that stuff out later. all finally finished I'll find a place that's probably good, closest to the bottom and I'll take my needle tool and I'll poke like three or four holes in there so that the air can escape because I basically have just made a big air bubble so I cut those in there with my needle tool 